Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I am the responsible person who communicate on the bad things of the palm oil in the past that my friend from irrigation and agriculture us. And it was true that we communicated for the ill effects of highly saturated oil, including coconut oil. But the main reason is not the properly produced, scientifically produced palm oil. Because of the monopoly and the foul play of the people who are disfiguring the healthy source of oil, which is affordable to our people. That's the reason I choose the title, a reality for the majority we have to think about palm oil and choose according to our scenario. Because we dream about taking a bath with edible oil. This is our dream. If we get rich, we will take a bath with oil. So our prime interest is to have abundant edible oil. But we cannot fulfill in our history. There are two other interesting things, but which is not directly related to this wild business, but I would like to let you see that the dream is here. But how about the lady in the photo? Almost all of the people here has no problem of affordability. But the lady, the lady, old lady representing all over the country have to think seriously about what kind of oil she should buy. In reality, we have edible oil shortage that my friends presented before. And we are consuming only one third of the daily requirement. So where is the two third? Among that, we are educating to reduce oil intake for what? So this is the issue that people are asking for. And in one of the demonstrations by the university students, I was the culprit and they blamed me that how dare I communicate to reduce oil intake where the people are so poor to buy and edible oil, which is good for the health. And their complaints are true. But on the other hand, in my point of view, palm oil is the savior for this situation. I should not leave the contrary thoughts. A lot of people in power thought that palm oil importing is wasting our scarce dollars. Scarce dollars is correct because we have not enough money to buy at the time. But at the same time, there are certain level of resistance from the local oil producers because a lot of people are afraid that their traditional production of local oil will be superseded by palm oil. 
But previously, I think Patrick, Dr. Chu mentioned uh, about the thing, and also the uh, previous speaker mentioned that we can produce our own traditional oil with the higher price. Because the price of our peanut and other oil is three times higher than the palm oil in the market. So this is an opportunity to have an alternative way of gaining rather than losing. And another contrary, contradictory mention is about the palm oil causes diseases. Morning presentations indicated that palm oil is not causing diseases, but it caused diseases previously. As a doctor, I would like to say that. Because low quality palm oil and a mixture of you know, uh, palm oil and the carnal oil, there are a lot of things adulterated in our oil market. Not only palm oil, but almost all the oil you know, push the consumer towards suffering from some diseases. It was true, and it is true, and it is going to be true without the quality control and a proper FDA system backing our consumer rights. And the fourth bullet also is that palm oil disturbs local oil products. Because local oil products are not efficient, anymore, and the local rice, uh, oil mills need to upgrade, and we need some kind of uh, quality assurance. And you can see the palm oil production started from the very beginning in the farms where good manufacturing practice, good agriculture practice, these practices should be all along the way. Here is the uh, the photo mentioned uh, is taken last February with my friends, uh, including Mr. Izam and uh, the ambassador this morning with the Mangalay Mayor last February. So we try to communicate that Amwar is good for health, it assures quality. Let's think about the majority. Because of the monopoly in the past caused a lot of problems, including low quality amwal, including adulteration, and including high prices. There are no competition at all. These are the things I think during these days could be corrected. The second point is the handful of people control the price of the oil. We had to queue for the palm oil, though we are blaming the palm oil is not good, because people like it. And also, our staff rely on the ration of palm oil in the past also, because it is so cheap. And another point on the majority, they are making unhealthy choices from the unreliable products. In this room, except the expatriates, are we sure that the oil we are having locally are really healthy? Who is going to assure the oil in the market? is good for health. It is reliable. They need a stem, stem from our locally produced oil. What are we doing as a professional community members? We fail to make academic researches. We research on the content of palm oil, content of coconut oil, and many other 
but we could not conduct studies on the manufacturing practices and behavior of the retailers in the market and what happened when the wire reached to the families. How many percentage of real wire is mixed with whatever wire we are not in the position to save. And another thing is on the locally produced edible oil. Our oil, peanuts, sesame, very good because it is tested by generations that it is good. But are we sure that the oil that we are having is the same as our grandpa and great-grandpa usually have? This is also another question. Are we really processing them? Because previous presentation you can see the whole process with the assured scientific methods. In processing, in manufacturing, in marketing, these are the things that we need to study in addition to the content of the uh, fatty acids in the world. And at the same time, controlling quality of both local and imported edible oil. To tell the truth, we cannot test saji oil. We rely on the quality written in saji oil and some tested samples from FDA. Our products exporting abroad are all properly tested because it will be easily rejected by the country. But all the imported edible things are not fully tested by the FDA. These are our weakness. So we are relying on the guarantee. For example, I am coming to talk this subject with these organizers because I trust Malaysian Palm Oil Board and Council because the government is strongly taking care of it and also strongly support for the quality. So we believe, we trust the quality that MPOC is taking care of. Is there any trustworthy guarantee for our locally produced oil, edible oil or any other products? This is very, very important if we are going to think about getting out of our poverty and get rich. Our, our consumer, fat consumer, fatter and fatter in many other places because they are eating unhealthy oil. They are adding more and more fat into the body rather than taking out the dangerous fat from the body. There are many substances in the palm oil and the palm products where you can get the health benefit. Can we see our peanuts, peanut oil, groundnut oil has such kind of effect and content? This we need to study. And also, scientific community cannot empower the consumers. And the consumer has no power to reject whatever they accept. And we have a little protection from the authority in the market, also in a wider situation. These are the issues that consumers are facing. I'll talk a little about 
we need 10 to 15 tickets a day for a family, for old or young, for example. But our salary, we need to spend one day income, 10% of our income, to buy the edible one. If we spend 10%, are we able to survive, to buy meat, rice, and other things? It is one-tenth of a family daily income. Another thing is, we need edible oil, not only for as a food, but also for our existence. And oil helps production of hormones for reproduction. We are complaining that the other people are producing 10 times more than our uh, natives. At the same time, we are getting you know, more unhealthy with our diet. These are the things, if you are thinking about our nation, we need to correct many things. I am a doctor, but I am not talking about diseases or treatments or medicine. I am talking about salutogenesis. Salutogenesis means how to stay healthily and happily and enjoy life. Maybe you can have disease, but you can enjoy your life. This is salutogenesis. This is the upstream. Downstream is the pathogenesis where we are talking about diseases and cholesterol and many other things. I am not going to talk detail about the diseases. To make people happy, happy and they have their own control over their own health determinants. Here, their health determinant is to get a good quality, affordable, edible oil. Do they have any control over their consumed oil? If not, we need to arrange for that. We need to create an environment which is enabled for their needy things. And also, we need to have the demand creation from the people. Any kind of development must be health-centered and people-centered. I've been to many places where the palm oil farms get started and many other areas where the people die with malaria. So whenever there is a plan, they must have a protection of the people's health and their survival. I'm sorry to present this in Yama language, you know, but the tip of the pyramid contains sugar, fat, very little. But I would like to remind you that taking fat while itself is okay, taking sugar at your choice also is okay. But if you mix sugar and fat, especially when it is under heat, it has some kind of caramelization that the sugar and fat will transform into a very bad fat that can make you sick. This is the only thing that I would like to request. Do be careful about that. So suddenly, I put this cake because Yama has changed its lifestyle. Previously, our homemade rice cakes has very little or no oil at all. But now our consumers change to take some kind of Western food. It is no more Western actually, it is also you know, in our culture, you know, cutting the birthday cake is everybody's business nowadays. Even the old monk will cut the cake. You know? So what is this make, making of? It contains cream. And now, palm oil is now producing, you know, getting chance 
to make such kind of things with the lesser price. So we'll have to import a lot of you know, these materials for our new hotels, you know, new tourists, and our, ourselves, and our children organizing their own birthday. So the other purpose is, is to make some kind of wild related products. But when we make our own udijo, chetonjo, something fried things, we need what? We like crispy fried things. For that, people choose palm oil. Because they said uh, palm oil is the one that could stand repeated frying. In Yama language, a jaw can see. But this palm oil should have the quality control. If not, that a jaw can see has a lot of many other you know, things which is not good for health. But we like to eat anything fried every day. Now we have options. Vegetable oils with less fatty acids. Vegetable oils with balanced fatty acids. Vegetable oils with higher saturated fatty acids. These are the three things. And also good animal oils and bad animal oils. Because we can get the cod oil and sea fish oil also, which has a lot of omega fatty acid, three or six, something like that, which is good to reduce the dangerous uh, fat inside your bloodstream. But at the same time, the previous presenter mentioned about the balancing effect of the saturated and unsaturated fatty acids, where the palm oil is in an optimal position with this kind of balance. Out of those options, which one is better? This is the table where you can see fatty acid composition from our coconut to soybean. Saturated, monosaturated, unsaturated, and polyunsaturated. Here, if you fry or cook too much, vegetable oil, uns unsaturated things can get transformed into trans fat also. So only vegetable oil for cooking, frying, has good and bad effects. We need to think about that. Okay. We have a little money in the pocket. The choice is yours. Either you buy palm oil or you buy durian to eat because people say durian also is rich. You know? The richness of palm oil and durian is different. But we must have healthy choice, affordable choice. Affordable and healthy choice, luxurious choice, and profitable choice. I would like to suggest to choose affordable and healthy choice. <coughs> But also, our people can get advantage of choice, a good choice, which is also profitable. Here, when I saw my first presenter's presentation, you know, uh, we can see the palm oil stock is now. It is having a large stock. And the uh, price in the coming year will be going down a little. So this is our advantage. Why don't we link up with MEOC or MEOB to have a quality assured cheaper price that we can afford. But I may be wrong, but His Excellency Tato Sri mentioned this morning that we imported 
27 million dollars worth of rice, uh, oil, palm oil a year. If we calculate it, it is only less than half dollar per person of our population. You know? We need more than that. We need, for our family, we need that amount come from fat as our energy requirement. So still, it is not you know, half a dollar per person per year. You know? We need per day of oil in our country. But the imported you know, amount of palm oil from Malaysia is only half a dollar per year. So we need to think about it seriously. My friend mentioned about the oil war. I would like to say about my oil household because I'm very limited, not like globalized like him. My family's choice is palm oil cooking because I get free of charge from Ulawe, the Saji oil. And my wife agreed that according to her experience, Saji oil is quite manageable and she likes cooking with sati oil. And we still keep our tradition of having sesame oil because sesame oil also is good for health in many ways traditionally. For traditional foods like eating, uh, you know, pickle leaves, tea leaves, the pear or any other thing. And regularly we use olive oil for salads. This is my family's choice. I put the photo of my wife feeding the old lady at that day of Ulawen's crazy Mother's Day, you know, and the mothers, and they invited old ladies from the home of for the age. Here, I would like to emphasize that even the old age people need edible oil, which is healthy and which they need for their energy. Even for the last flame, they need oil. This is my reference of what I receive. And you can see that the nutritional properties of palm oil and its fraction has a lot of things. Uh, and I think previous presenter mentioned that both of the presenters from the Malaysia tell about health and me. So as a doctor, I think I would like to refer them that please look into their presentations where you can easily find the health effects of palm oil. So here, it is coupled to this factor is the well-known cost-effective attributes of palm oil usage and its compatibility in various food formulations. This is what I would like to emphasize for. So why palm oil? People are asking. This morning also my friend asked me, why palm oil? It's healthy. And palm oil that these people are importing is quality control, I believe. You know? And there are no strong quality control institution in our country, we have to rely on the quality control of the importers from Malaysia. And also, the trusted the source and its corporate practices. Because I use palm oil because I trust the source and the corporate practices from the beginning till the end. And the price is reasonable and having good experience in using it. Why healthy? Saturated fatty acid in palm oil stands cooking and frying so that we can have more cooked and fried foods that we like, more tasty. And slower transformation of trans fat in frying. There will be a lot of arguments I would like to listen, but transformation of trans fat in frying is very quick if it contains more 
uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids. And palm oil contains tocopherol, tocotrienol, and carotenoids that the previous presenters mentioned. Here, the issue is the color. When I brought the bottle back at home, my son asked me, what happened to this oil? It is red. So I explained him that red contains important things like carotenoids, which is very rarely seen. And if you trust the presenter, it, is, it can be only seen in palm oil. You know? And also, there are other health factors, like cardiovascular diseases, studies related to that, and many other studies which is complicated. So this is not a medical lecture. I would like to exclude it. Let me suggest, before my end my presentation, please, our community, stop adulterating our edible oil in the local market. This is the people having been threatened. And it is not the responsibility of the importers. It is the practice that they need to have control. And we need to guarantee the quality from farm to food stores. Here, I think, uh, friends from agriculture sector, you know, producing certain amount of palm oil in our own products, need to be assured the quality. And please listen to the consumer voices. For the time being, we have no voice at all. And some consumer voices are groundless. We need to have scientific support for the consumers to raise a correct voice, which could be rightly listened not only by our authorities but by the whole world. If we are raising our voice with nonsense, we will be as dumb as previously in, in the future. And we need to exercise corporate social responsibility from this sector, which we need to see, not only building schools or donating money to ceremonies. We need to look into it. And the consumer, you know, the corporate social responsibility need to cover many areas that we cannot cover in the past, especially on the scientific studies. If the rich merchants in our country help the scientific scientists to do needy researches in our country. It would be a sound reasons and strong ground for us to argue for ourselves. And also we need to promote local products in many ways because if we buy palm oil cheaper price from the exporters, we need to sell something back. To sell something back, we need to produce better quality local products. And my final request to my friends here to invest in the farm while second. But the investment should not help the forest cut down and clean the forest. Because I have seen palm oil production places far away from the factories, and the transport is poor, the product is poor, and low quality production. So please look into the existing situation and fill the gap, rather than cutting the forest and grow palm oil or rubber where I am now witnessing in many places where our precious teeth were cut down and the trained palm oil and rubber trees are replanted. I don't want to see the line train trees because we have enough experience with line train human beings. I would like to see a diverse 
people and things happily surviving in this country. Thank you very much for that.